police at this point are saying that investigations are still unfolding and no nobody been arrested. We understand it's about three people who have been killed here. If we look behind me here, it's about two scenes here. Uh, that's the first scene where we are seeing a, a BMW and we can also spot um, the two bodies of uh, people who were the occupants who were actually in that particular um, car and on the other side where we can actually at this point see it's a bus that's the second scene where also we are seeing um, forensic pathology uh, people are on the ground you know and also including the police this particular place has now actually been cordoned off as now they are making sure that they gather uh, information as much as they can they gather all um, you know, relevant things that they would need as part of building up the case. How has this situation left you? Because it could have been anyone that was caught in the crossfire. Me. Um, I was in class when it happened, luckily, but I heard the gunshots going off. And overall, it was just a really traumatic experience mm. for students around here mm. and also commuters who are walking the streets of Bramford Day. Is it the first time that you see something like this happening here? Because you reside here in Johannesburg. Um, it's not the first time, but at this specific location, yes. You were in class when the incident happened. What is it that you heard? Yes, I heard like, I probably say like eight to ten gunshots going off. And then not long after that, we heard police sirens and everyone started rushing down to see what's happening. You, you're also saying that you're scared. Yeah, it's the same thing as her. Like, we're in the class when it happened, and it's just really a traumatic experience. Like, right now, we can't do anything at our funeral. And it's, like, really scary because it could have been anyone.